What is up everybody? Welcome to another rousing YouTube that I make. It is my series on losing weight and just getting better physically and mentally because uh, it's not that easy to just go and work out. I've always had a huge issue with motivation so I decided what I would do was talk to a camera in my kitchen and that would make me keep going. Mainly because I depended on other friends to do this stuff. So anyways, what we've got today, because I'm sure you're all just so interested, the three of you that watch it. I am at 189 pounds. I have reached into the 180s. So like an influencer, I should say, I've made 180. 189, basically 190. That is far and away from the 220 I started out when I started doing this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mess up my hair, which I just did. Filming YouTube videos requires a little more planning than I thought. I usually figured pretty little assholes just come on here, do their hair, show their abs, and then get 10,000 followers and gym sponsorships and everybody that is gay sends them lewd sexual messages. That part's always true. Uh, also on note, this shirt is finally getting a little looser and not like skin tight to my body. I would like all of my weight to go towards my ass, but it doesn't, so, so gracious. That is what we look like from the front. Here's how we're looking from the side. And here's how we're looking from the back. Probably not a massive change, but that's the whole idea is that it's slow and incremental change and the reason so many people stop is because they diet and do stuff for a month. And then they stop because they aren't seeing any change. You are not going to lose weight quickly unless you are like doing the diet or the not eat anything diet and then also somehow go to the gym and also somehow to cardio and have 10,000 steps a day. You're probably gonna have a steady regular weight loss of like two to three pounds a week, which is healthy. Uh, you could probably do other different stuff that's not healthy, but also when you stop doing those unhealthy things because you've reached the weight you feel good at, it's probably gonna go right back up. <laughs> it's so gross. <sighs> if anybody ever wanted to know, these are Helimix cups. They don't have a sugar ball in them. They're amazing. I use them all the time. I'm not sponsored. I use them. I use them to support my little brother. My brother doesn't buy sh and post sh unless he actually supports it. So Helimix code shoe. These little bottles are great. They're like 24 bucks, which honestly, I think you can see over there, I have like eight of them, I need more. They are great for matching your outfits, especially if you wanna like rock a gym fit and feel really good about yourself. And uh, you know, if it's a way to get you in the gym to feel good about your gym fit, get color match helimixes. The other thing I should probably say is that all of those vitamins, some of those are recommended by my buddy Nick, who is an absolute fitness genius, Nick Topol. But I just got to spend some time with him uh, that is actually what I was going to talk about because we went out on the weekend. Me and Nick and my buddy Mitch and my buddy Frage all went out and went out on the town. I had a couple of drinks. However, I made sure that only one of them was alcoholic. It was literally vodka and water. Hold my coach. Always be transparent with your coach. Always tell them what you did and didn't do. Lying to them does you and them no justice. It only hurts you. I also went and walked. I think from 15th Street all the way up to 42nd. So we literally did like 30 plus blocks and then two over and I was walking the whole day and living in New York, you average like 15 to 20,000 steps every day anyway. That day I averaged about 45,000 steps. Uh, that was impressive. Actually, Friday to Monday I averaged that just because I was walking around showing up friends that were visiting around the city and I do not believe in taking the subway unless you're going over 15 blocks, but it was so nice out, as crazy as it sounds, in the 30s and 40s, actually more in the 40s, to just be in a jacket and just kind of walk around in jeans and you're super comfortable because in New York, I don't think people realize, yes, 40 is cold, but all of the places you'll go in are a thousand degrees, like hotter than Satan's anus on a Thursday. Beyond that, the main thing I wanted to talk about today is people who try to have specialized areas in which they push fitness coaching and training on you. I know I just did one about how you need to make sure you pick the right trainer, and part of that is making sure that you're not falling for the bullshit that some of these trainers do. I've come across not one, but two gay fitness trainers. If you want to support the community of the gays, I happen to be one of the gays. Um, friends call me Gay Nick. You must be Nick. 
Well, friends call me Gay Nick. That's great. However, these trainers, both of them that I found, are manipulating the idea that the gym is a terrible place and homophobic and all of the influencers don't like gay people and that you need a gay trainer to train your gay muscles and your gay self. Let me tell you one thing, that's wrong. There is nothing specific about a gay guy, a straight guy, a black guy, a white guy, an Asian guy, a Hispanic guy, any guy that makes you specifically need to seek out specific kinds of trainers. Also, I would like to take a note that just because, again, somebody has a big ass that you think looks great, or a really big chest, or really nicely capped shoulders, does not mean they actually know how to get you those things. My buddy Frazier has amazing legs. My buddy Skyler, who's also my editor, has incredible legs. A lot of theirs was genetic. My buddy Nick has a really strong chest. My buddy Seth and Aaron also have really strong chests. A lot of it's genetic. Working out made it look amazing. They already had it naturally. One of my biggest arguments for probably doesn't know how to get you a giant chest is somebody like Alex Eubank, who is absolutely horrible at doing anything. The kid literally has never bulked in his whole life, never ever seems to be able to bulk. He literally tried to do a bulk or something and managed to go into the ER because he wanted attention. He's not the kind of person that ever, ever should coach anybody ever and now is offering coaching, which I think is quite alarming. You don't want people that just because you see they have a great specific body part doesn't mean they're able to give you that specific body part. Booty coaches, whatever. Every one of them is gonna post like, this is the workout I do to do this. It's like. Go back and look at old photos of them. They probably had a decent sized derriere before they started doing online training. And most online coaches are literally doing it not to help you, but to make money because there's no other way to make money off of being pretty on the internet. There is no such thing as gay fitness and gay coaches and gay muscles. Your gay muscles work just like your straight muscles. The gym community is an incredibly welcoming place. I don't, you know, the outfit I'm wearing is pretty much what I go to the gym, which is normal gym attire. Um, you know, sometimes I'll wear a purple and a purple shoe. I don't think it looks gay or anything. It may be considered a feminine color, but I'm so busy doing my workout, I don't pay attention to what other people are doing. Why are you looking around? You should be focused on your workout and what you're doing, and you should be working out hard enough that when you're winded in between sets, sure, you may look around and stuff, but it's like nobody's going to sit there and go, Ugh, or look at the gay guy. Nobody fucking knows. Also, nobody cares. If you're at a real gym, a good gym, people are there to work out and better themselves. They're not there to sit there and judge and tear you down. And if you are doing something a little weird, which I've seen plenty of people, straight people, work out absolutely abhorrently bad. I may kind of look at them a little bit, but I don't sit there and stare. And if I do catch myself staring, I just kind of smile and look away. Doesn't mean anything. Sometimes people will look at you. This is life. Not everybody you can control. That is part of life is dealing with people and different stuff and things in different situations and doesn't mean that you are being harmed by it. Uh, it's all in how you take things. Remember, it is a big life motto of mine is that you cannot control other people's actions, but you can control your reaction. But feeling pretty good about the gym. Uh, been going consistently, haven't been going to my complex because I've been in a hotel. I'm back here filming because I had to grab a bunch of stuff. Figured it'd be a great time to film. Haven't been in the place for a couple weeks. Probably not gonna be for a couple more. Also moving units, so that is exciting. Also a place down in Tampa I signed for, so that is also exciting. Dealing with a lot of moving and changing and stuff like that, and I will say that I have noticed that there's a couple of influencers and I have to pick on them for this. If your whole job is to work out and be in shape and to be a coach and all of that stuff, and I see you post like, oh, took a week off and haven't been able to get to the gym, just been so busy, or content's been low because I just haven't been in it. It's like, you realize how many people go to the work every day and work a nine to five and then go and work out and then go and cook their own food and maintain their own life and have a social life and don't get the ability to just take weeks off at a time randomly to not work because we just don't feel like it. That's another thing you don't want to find in a coach. You want to find a coach that's dedicated to what they do, that's constantly upping their game, whether it be reading, podcasts, taking courses, learning, getting more certifications, anything to help you get better because you are paying them to help you get better and they should be the best person for you to do that. If your coach is literally somebody who's 
entire Instagram is literally just them doing get ready with me's and taking their shirt off and showing what clothes they wear every day and basically thirst trapping and thotting. Like that's not the coach you want. You want the coach that's actually like in the gym, shows you workouts that they do, not necessarily this is the workout that got my biceps huge, but here's the workout I do and here's what I do on my daily and here's how I stay healthy. Uh, you know, here's how I stay better, here's how I get better. Those are the kind of people you want. You want people that show that they're getting better every day in their lives, not just showing off how great their life is. That's uh, kind of a, my little diddly for this uh, past two weeks. Everything's been going great, steady on the weight, steady on everything. Obviously even had a drink. If I do that again, which I don't plan to soon, because I really don't like drinking, honestly. I will just tell my coach ahead of time so we can plan for it and then kind of go from there because letting your coach know ahead of time, I know you can't always, if you're gonna go off track on your cardio, your gym regimen, or your food is very important to let them know. Like I said, you do no service to anybody not telling them or lying. And if you can tell them ahead of time, hey, I'm going out, is there any way I can work in a drink or two? And they can say, nope, don't do it. Or yes, here's how we'll do it. You'll have to do extra cardio or work out or whatever. Then that's great. But keep on going. I've got my uh, handy dandy little cheat sheet full of all the meals and foods I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna enjoy my coffee now uh, that I have uh, disenjoyed my green smoothie. Um, watch some shit on my iPad and then I'm gonna get ready to go to work because luckily before this whole video, I did my stair cardio, which I hate. Anyways, I don't hate you guys, so come back, subscribe, don't subscribe. This really is just for me for accountability. I don't care if five people see this or five million people see this. Be great if people did see this and got inspired seeing my videos all the time of me losing weight, but hey, I'm still not thin and have abs and nobody pays attention to you until you have abs. So, say la vie, talk to you later.